I'm here at the United States Supreme Court where there will soon be a vacancy. Justice David Souter has announced he is retiring, leaving President Barack Obama with his first opportunity to make a Supreme Court appointment. At the moment, there is only one woman on the court, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and there is a lot of talk and a lot of expectation that Obama will in fact appoint a woman to replace David Souter. However, from the perspective of the average American, the gender of the new appointee doesn't seem to matter. 64%, almost two-thirds of Americans, in fact, say it doesn't matter to them whether a new appointee is a woman or not. We have a small percent, 6%, who say it's essential that the new appointee be a woman, and 26% saying it's a good idea, but again, all in all, the majority of Americans simply say it doesn't matter. These numbers are a little more in the doesn't matter direction than the last time we asked these questions, which was back in the fall of 2005. At that point, Sandra Day O'Connor had announced she was retiring, and then just as William Rehnquist died, leaving two vacancies, ultimately two white males were appointed by President George W. Bush to replace those two justices. There's also been talk that Obama may appoint an individual of color, a black Supreme Court justice, or a Hispanic Supreme Court justice, but even higher percents of Americans than was the case for a woman say that it doesn't matter to them if a new justice is black or is a Hispanic. President Obama will be responding to his own beliefs and pressure groups when he makes his decision about who will replace Justice Souter. But as far as the average American is concerned, the gender and the race and ethnic background of that Supreme Court justice, who will be appointed, simply doesn't matter. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, editor-in-chief of the Gallup Poll.